Many students in our area have struggled immensely during the pandemic. And to tackle trauma in the city schools, a new approach is being pitched. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge has the details. To try to honor some of the people we've lost and the trauma that we've gone through is not return to normal. Because normal just didn't work for far too many people. Public advocate Jumani Williams is backing a new task force aimed at overhauling how schools address discipline. If a student acts out, instead of punishing them, advocates like Rosalia Watkins want to help them heal. Healing centered schools uses restorative justice. For example, instead of detention, a student could meet with a counselor to talk about what's really going on. Young people have been going through like home insecurities for a very long time. We have a lot of homeless young people in schools, um, young people who are LGBT, facing family members being deported, arrested, um, harassed by police. And this year, many students lost loved ones to COVID, experienced a racial justice movement, and witnessed spiking gun violence. It's also renewed the debate on school safety policies, like should there be more metal detectors or more social workers. Advocates are studying a program underway upstate in Schenectady. They replaced their traditional suspension process with a diversion program that connects students with long-term mental health resources. After implementing those changes, they saw physical altercations drop by 40 percent. The dropout rate went from 25 percent down to 2 percent. The new task force won't be rolled out just yet. First, teachers, students and parents are invited to share their feedback in listening sessions that will be happening in all five boroughs starting tomorrow. From those conversations, the task force will create a list of recommendations that they'll put before the city. In Lower Manhattan, Natalie Dudridge, CBS2 News.